Okay, so these additional two murders of Carlton Rose and Slam, you revealed those two murders in trial preparation with Mr. Rainier. I wrote, I think I wrote a letter or something because they can't answer the phone. Do you have a copy of that letter, sir? No, sir. Miles, do you have a copy of that letter? The letters were produced Bates number 055550. 0550? To speed things up, give him a copy if you have it. He wrote me a lot of letters, Judge. I understand that, but if you have that one in front of you, let him look at it. I may have it. What's the date of that letter, Miles? Judge, I don't know offhand if he mentioned slammed in a letter or... I'll look right now. No, I didn't. I think he did. I don't know. Let me look. He's written a lot of letters. Wait, wait, wait. Only one person at a time. Mr. Rainier, are you finished? I can look, Judge. Okay. Well, maybe he can clear it up. I have like 30 or 40 pages of notes from him. All right, sir. Thank you. What were you going to say? I told him I was on the outskirts of Slam. So I guess the outskirts of Slam is participating in it, Your Honor, because I was just a driver of Floyd Moore. And that's the same kind of, like, you know, thing, I guess. Even though I didn't shoot nobody, they still charged me with the murder of Floyd Moore. So if you ask me, did I participate in Slam? I could say yes, because if anything got out of hand, I would have had to start shooting Mac 90 to defend Black or defend whoever. So I answered yes. Sir, let me see if I can help sort of put a timeline together on this as to when you disclosed Carlton Rose and slammed to Mr. Rainier. Do you recall when you testified in state court last summer that the lawyer representing Hickerson asked you a similar question about how many people you murdered? Yes. Do you remember testifying in that case that you murdered five people, not seven? Yes. Okay. And so after you testified five people, and it would be numbers three through seven on the list, correct? Okay. It didn't include Rose and Slam, right? No, sir. And the lawyer asked you after you identified Mr. Anderson, Mr. Allen, Mr. Foster, Mr. Marshall, and Mr. Moore as your murder victims. He asked you, is that was all? And you said, that's it. Correct, sir? That's it. That's what I pled to. But he didn't ask you, what did you plead to? He asked you how many people you murdered, right? Excuse me. Basically, when he asked me the questions, he asked me, did I plead to killing these people? And I said, yes, I pled to those people. You know, he didn't ever get around to asking me, did I? You know, if he did ask me that, I only admitted to the people I pled out to killing, which was only three in the state and two in the feds because that was part of my plea. And I think the question was like, did you plead out to these in your plea agreement, such and such? And I told them, yeah, those are the bodies I was asked. I mean, you know, that's what they asked me about. I think that's what I told them, if I'm correct. And you don't think you were lying to the state court jury when a lawyer for Mr. Hickerson asked you, do I have it right? You only murdered five people and you said yes. I don't even call that line because he, excuse me, I'll answer because he said the people you pled out to. You instead are trying to say the only people I killed, sir. And this guy said, did you plead out to these? See, you skipping the word plead. So I'm only telling them the guys I pled out to because that's a part of my plea agreement. Sir, again, I have a copy of your state court testimony on the screen. Are you with me, sir? All right, yeah. And we'll go through it line by line, sir. I don't want to mislead this jury at all. Okay. Okay? All right. And so, Mr. Does anybody know how to pronounce his name? Vogeltans? Vogeltans. Vogeltans. All right. I don't want to mispronounce this man's name. He's asking you, other than Charles Anderson, Lester Allen, and Lester Foster, name another person specifically by name that you've killed. Did you see that, sir? Are you with me? Lines 18, 19, and 20? Yeah. And you say Michael Marshall. Right, sir? Yeah. That's four. Now, in the question, Mr. Vogeltans is not asking you how many people did you plead guilty to murdering. 
He said, how many people have you killed? Correct? Well, when I go back to number eight, I said, like I told you, sir, the person I played out to, you have it in black and white. And that's the names that I stated, sir, the persons I played out to, because I didn't give the government that information yet because they only wanted to deal with the things that they brought up and I had to give them specifics on. So I'm not just going to say that because I didn't plead out to killing them or telling them I killed those people yet. Sir, do you understand the difference between pled out and kill? Yeah. What does pled out mean to you? Like, I pled guilty to killing Charles Anderson, Lester Allen, Lester Foster, Michael Marshall, Floyd Moore, and attempted Burnell Allen. And what does kill mean to you? That I killed the people. Okay. And so let's look again at the questions that were asked of you in state court. I think they're the identical questions that I'm asking. All right. After Mr. Moore, who did you kill? It doesn't say, what did you plead out to? It says, who did you kill? Do you see that? What line are you on? Line 29. I just put a dot by it. I said, that's it, sir. You said, that's it. And then the lawyer for Mr. Hickerson says, okay, that's six people. Did I read that correctly? Yes. That's all you've killed, not pled out to, right? And then I say, that's not, I didn't plead out to killing six people. That's not what he asked you. He said, that's all you've killed. Then you said, sir, I, excuse me, sir, you're, that's not six people, correct? Not giving me a chance to answer. Judge, I'm going to object. I think it's argumentative argumentative. It speaks for itself. It's argumentative. Do you need to explain that? No, Your Honor. It's in black and white. Sir, you agree that this transcript is an accurate reflection of your state court testimony, right? Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. Let's move to the next page. And so you see here at the top of page 117 from state court, so the lawyer representing Mr. Hickerson again tries to go over the number of people you've killed. Correct, sir? Mr. Marshall, no dispute about that. Correct? Yes. Mr. Moore, no dispute about that. Correct? Yes. Charles Anderson, no dispute about that. Correct? Yes. Lester Allen, no dispute about that. Correct? Yes. Lester Foster, no dispute about that, right? Yes. That's five. Okay. You've killed five people. And you answer, yes. Correct? Yes. And so your testimony in state court was that you killed five people. Correct, sir? Yes. And in that state court trial, Mr. Rainier was in the audience, was he not? No. He wasn't? Wasn't anybody at this table from the federal government in the courtroom at Tulane and Broad when you gave this testimony? James. James. Him right here? Yeah. Mr. Ollinger? Did Mr. Ollinger speak with you after your testimony in state court? After I was finished, maybe, but not after, you know. It was, they split it up. Did he attempt to correct you, sir, by saying, Mr. McCaskill, you testified under oath you killed five people, but we know you actually killed seven people. Did Mr. Ollinger tell you that? Objection to relevance, Judge. Overruled. No, sir, he didn't say that. Because basically this guy asking me this question, and I'm telling him that's what I played out to killing five people. You still are going back and asking me the same question. But if my lawyer not there, or he said, all right, watch, go ahead and tell him about the other people you have or the other information. I'm only telling them the people that I played out to. I wasn't trying to incriminate myself or nothing like that. I just told him I played out to killing these five people. He asked me, and I said no, because I didn't give them the information yet. It wasn't like I was trying to lie to them, just specifically telling them these are people that I played guilty to killing. Two in federal court, three in state court, sir. Sir. 